Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome to episode 112 of the Iron Man series and I should be getting 98 woodcutting right now. Yeah, here we go. Nice timing. And that is one level away to 99 if you think about it. That is gonna be my first ever non-combat 99 on this account which is kinda cool, you know? This is definitely a very combat or PVM focused account. So before I start today's video, I just want to let you know I want to discuss with you guys uh, some future possible plans for videos in the upcoming future. It's not going to be too specific or anything, but just uh, some general ideas. So if you're interested to hear about future plans or possible plans, then I will talk more about that at the end of the video. But aside from that, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Well, that was a pretty close call. Oh, damn! Okay, Master Clue's already done. So, recently got a Master Clue. Thank Woodcutting for that Elite Clue nest, so... Here we go! Ooh, okay, no uniques, but... More God Pages, though. I've, I've always, like, been getting a lot of these God Pages. Oh, Dragon Axe! My first Dragon Axe in a super long time, like, seriously. Oh, shit, Warrior's Ring! Hey, there we go. I'm getting something. We're getting some drops here. Take that warrior's ring, man. Ooh, is that an elite clue scroll? I see. Perfect, man. Right after my masters. The elite clue I just got allowed me to get another master clue. My favorite type of clues. Well, this is new. I've never gotten this requirement before. It turns out it is the obsidian mall. I think I can get that relatively uh, quickly. Probably can just buy from the store, so uh, let's go ahead and get that. And that should be the last of the chaos runes I need for this mall. It's a good thing I still had tons of chaos runes left from whatever it was I got these from. But yeah, I sold 7,000 for the 65k. And I need to get the Tazar Cat on. Yep, that is the one. Got it. Alright, let's continue this clue. Here we go, let's continue on. Goblin salute in Goblin Village, beware of double agents, equip Bandos Godsword, a Bandos cloak, and Bandos play party. Okay, well, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I don't have the Bandos Godsword, and yeah, I have everything else Bandos wise from God Wars, except for the health, man. So, I gotta go and finish up that Bandos set. I kinda hinted at that. Uh, recently, so I think it's about time we go and do that. So, yep, I just checked I got the plate body and I'm 100% sure I have the cloak as well. I guess I will save this master clue at least for a few days. Hopefully I'll get the help by then to continue. Alright, here we go. So I looked at my bank. Shit, I had 700 Diaglones, so I might as well start using some. So at 88 prayer, that's another extra prayer point that I will get from my, my prayer potions and restores and stuff. So I still got around 600 Diaglones left, so that's like 200k-ish prayer experience. It'll get me halfway to 89. Not bad. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. So that was my third ever Dexterous Prayer Scroll on this Iron Man, so since I don't need any more than one, I just drop traded it to WAF and I got a 57 mil split shared to my main account and 57 mil obviously given to WAF, so that was pretty good money for my main. It's been a really long time since I've ever been to Bandos, but it is time to go ahead and finish Bandos once and for all with the health drop. Let's go and get it. Holy shit. I almost left this Gosser Shard on the ground. Didn't even realize I got it. Cool, man. An elite clue scroll from Bandos. Okay. So I finally managed to uh, gather some motivation to go back to Major Arena to get myself a Master Wand uh, for my Cold Eye Insignia, obviously, to make the Cold Eye Wand. I'm just gonna bang out all the enchantment points that I need tonight and then the rest I can just do anytime I want because yeah no competition for that stuff so uh, let's see here I need to get 900, 2400, 4800 enchantment points to get the beginner one all the way to master one upgrade so hopefully that doesn't take too long. This is the last world and actually it's not even 4 yet so Yes, I managed to finish this 
in under an hour, but there's a catch. I actually had a thousand to start off, so I must have gotten uh, 1,000 too many when I was going for the bonus of peaches. So that's good, or else it might have taken a bit over an hour, but hey, this is amazing. So, so next thing I want to do is to get the graveyard. Basically, 480 graveyard points, so that goals for the other two as well. Now I can do the graveyard easier than uh, last time because I can actually cast bones to peaches here. You do get hit pretty oddly, so at some point I'm gonna get hit to the point that I'll die, but with bones to peaches, you know, I can eat peaches. So <laughs> yeah, they heal 8, I can stay here without having to bank, which is good. Alright, hopefully this is gonna be my last inventory, 480, please say it, yes. Perfect. And that is two out of four rooms done. The last two are definitely the slowest. Alchemy and telekinetic. I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. This is it, guys. The last telekinetic grab. Hell yes. Well, sorry to say, we're not done yet. Still got the alchemy. God dang. Well, luckily, uh, I got some stuff to uh, watch on the side, so it wasn't that bad, but all that's left is the alchemist portal. There we go. Oh, shit. I think that might have been a PR. Hey, I needed those deference, man. Come in clutch. This, here we go, deposit, and it should say 480 alchemist points. Booyah! And thus end... Uh, the trial man at Mage Arena because I need to uh, buy sequentially and upgrade because for some reason I can't just buy the Master One Wild Array which is a shame so yeah let's go buy the beginner wand yeah they all upgrade so if I buy this it should uh, transfer over yep and for the teacher wand okay here we go make no mistakes here nice nice wait a minute alchemist points what's going on here Something, uh, the points are looking a little off here. Are you serious? Wow. We're, we're actually not done yet because for some reason the teacher wand, they don't have the same exact points. Look, it's an extra 50 alchemist wand points. Back for round two. Please don't troll me with these weird prices, man. All right. Beautiful. Buy the master wand. Yes. Ah. Let me get my Kodai Insignia. So it's very simple. Use the Master Wand on this Insignia, right? Warning! This process will combine your Master Wand with the Kodai Insignia. This cannot be reverted. Do you wish to go ahead? Hell yeah, I do. Proceed! Well, that's it. <laughs> I was expecting some sort of animation, but uh, yeah, no animation. Plus 28. Magic accuracy. Also, wow, it gives a lot of magic defense as well. 15% magic damage. I wasn't actually aware of this. But yeah, this is one of the big things that I was informed about earlier. And that's huge. And anyways, this thing also counts as infinite water runes as well. So that's really nice for Ice Barrage. But I have some awesome plans to uh, use this at Bandos. I'm not going to be killing the boss, but... I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna try to use the Sammy method that I normally do, barrage the two minions that range in the melee, and I think this should work well. Since I can auto cast ancients, 15% extra damage as well. I'm like on a slayer task all the time when I'm barraging, so that's amazing. I'll probably give this a go at Armadale boss as well. So, you know, I'm gonna head over to Banos right now and uh, give this a try. I didn't mean to barrage them together like that. I wanted them to be side by side. <laughs> oh my god, this is working a lot better than I thought. <laughs> Ew. Damn. I wasn't even doing this right, but okay. <laughs> oh man, we can do so many things with this. This will be quite interesting for sure. <gasps> oh my god! Already? No way! Oh my god, we got it! Yes, baby! <laughs>
I did a small test. I managed to get 9 kills with the Blood Barrage minion method at the end. But it's a small test. Um, Cold Eye Wan seems to work pretty well there in place of Guthans. Uh, I think it might be a bit more reliable than Guthans, honestly. And I sucked at it. Just saying, my switches were ass, so yes, I could definitely improve and make this method really viable. Oh wow, I didn't even have to use the Godswitch shards on this. I just smith anvil and automatically uh, made the Godsword blades for me. Hell yeah, that's awesome, man. Put that on real quick. Ooh, Bandos Godsword. My one and only Bandos boots. <laughs> that is nice to see. So we got Zami completed, Sarah Domain completed. Now Bandos completed. So all that's left is Armadillo, of course. Still need the helmet. The chain skirt and the hilt. So luckily for me, I will probably uh, use that cold I want there too as well. So I do have this master clue that I'll be doing right away, but I totally forgot I should have just cashed all of these in ahead of time so then I could get some more elite clues. Next up, Sherlock. All right, let's go. All right, what do you want, follow? The only thing I don't have is the armadillo helmet, so don't say it. Don't say it. No! No way! You freaking serious? I went on a journey to get this Bandos hilt to do this master clue. And and this bastard, at the very end of this master clue, is telling me to get an Armadale helmet. You are a bitch, follow. I hate your guts. Like seriously, this could have been the end of this master clue, you know? Ah, wow, man. One shenanigan after another. I'll try to look for an Armadale task quickly. If not, I'll just do it off task, whatever. See if I get this helmet. I'll keep this for a little bit more, you know, just, just a little bit longer. So, quick recap on today's episode. We made some pretty good gains. Got the Master Wand for the Kodai Wand, the best one in the game, and arguably, you could say the best magic weapon in the game, excluding the Toxic Triangle, of course. And also, we managed to get the Bando Hill to complete our third God War set. So all that's left is the Armadale. So you're going to be seeing a lot of Armadale in the upcoming episodes. Before I talk to you guys about future updates for this channel, I need to let you guys know why it is that I play RuneScape nowadays, how it is that I have fun playing this game. And it has a lot to do with YouTube and I guess nowadays streaming as well. So to be honest with you, had I not done YouTube for RuneScape, I don't think I would be playing RuneScape much nowadays because before I you know, started doing YouTube for RuneScape, I really thought I was done with RuneScape. I don't think there was much else for me to do. YouTube definitely brought it back and here's the reason why. It's because I can share my progress with you guys. I realized that when I was playing this game and recording and like making videos and stuff and uh, I noticed that people actually enjoyed it and stuff, I don't know, something about that made it really fun for me. It gave me so much motivation to play this game. And after doing YouTube for a while, working on like my first series, my Mystery Iron series, I realized that my philosophy for enjoying this game nowadays is making a series that has a beginning and an end, okay? So between the beginning and the end, there will be lots of content that I love to do personally, full of goals and obviously completing them. So once I finish my overarching goal for that series, it would be time to move on. So for example, my R3 Iron Man series revolved around trying to max within a year and also trying to get as many PVM accomplishments done as possible within the year. And I set out to do that and I completed it. I maxed within the year and then I worked full time on this normal Iron Man series with a similar goal. I would just play this account and try to achieve as many PVM goals as possible. And that was the overarching thing, and I guess the ending would have been uh, God Wars and Corporal Beast. But obviously Raids came out, so I put that in there as well. So I'm at the point now on this series where I am going to finish this God Wars set, okay? I will be starting to do Corporal Beast, and I have already unlocked a lot of stuff from Raids. So this account is nearing its conclusion, you know, the series is going to have a nice wrap up, and it will be eventually time to move on. So my plan is for my next series, I will make a return on Huan Life only and continue the progress that it should have had, had it not died. So it's going to be, yes, another Iron Man series. I was planning on doing a different type of series, not Iron Man related, but because Huan Life only has so much potential, it is 
just painful to just leave that behind. So I want to continue the progress on Huan Life only as a regular Iron Man. So I understand that yes, it is another Iron Man series and a lot of you guys will say, wait a minute, isn't this the same? So what's the point? And I've proven to you guys that even if a series is similar, it can be still quite fresh and honestly great to watch. So when I made my Hardcore Iron Man series, a lot of you guys asked that same exact question. Isn't Huan Life only going to be like the same as Mr. Iron Bar? Even if it is like, you know, the hardcore uh, difference. And I quickly proved to people that no, it wasn't because this game, I don't know what it is. Old school gets updated so much that honestly, if I make an Iron Man like half a year down the line, it's going to be quite different. You know, the, the way that you train your character and progress is just <laughs> not going to be the same. There's so many things that came out in this game in like the past like half year that is geared towards like low to mid level content that Mr. Iron Bar unfortunately never got to take advantage of, you know? So it was a shame. So I will be able to utilize so many update stuff that Mr. Iron Bar never could on Huan Life Only. So my plan is I'm going to continue the progress of Huan Life Only. I guess I probably changed the name because obviously it's more than one life now. And it's gonna be PVM focused series as well. I will probably try my best to, you know, make it uh, quite different from this series as well. But yes, underlining goal is the PVM progress. I want to make as much PVM progress as I can, build it up to do everything that Mr. Iron Bar could in a obviously unique, fresh way. So that's going to be it for today's video. I'm sorry I went on like a long ass digression, you know, went like Bodhi 2.0 on you guys. But I really needed to let you guys know about my future plans now because if I tell you guys later when I am going to be doing the new change, you guys aren't going to be ready for it mentally. So obviously I need to let you guys know ahead of time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys uh, soon with another video in a few days guys. Take care and bye bye.